Lawrence, it's the first day of your gear manufacturing seminar, but could you tell me why you hold these events? Yeah, I mean, gear cutting at the moment is very much in vogue. The whole industry is looking for new means to cut gears, opposed to the traditional means of cutting gears. We have platforms in the Akuma machines, the five axis machines, mill turn, turn mill machines, which are highly flexible machines. They're extremely accurate and rigid, robust machines that we are proving are capable of cutting gears. And therefore, we try to invite anybody relevant to gear cutting in the UK to come along, witness the machines, listen to the technology, see an alternative means, and we're also measuring parts today. So um, anybody can claim to be able to cut gears, but actually demonstrating it and showing the measurement, and we're showing data on the screen um, that proves that we are capable of doing that. And the type of companies that are actually coming to your events, are they just aerospace customers? Uh, not at all actually, no, we've targeted to invite all of the gear manufacturers throughout the UK, so it's irrelevant which industry they're working with, anybody making gears or anybody in that type of industry to show the level of technology and flexibility on the machine platforms. So we've got a broad spectrum of customers. Shane, could you tell us about BG Engineering? Yeah, we're a subcontract machinist firm uh, based in Chesterfield, M mainly oil and gas, a little bit of food and beverage and uh, steam as well. And could you tell me why you're at uh, NCMT's gear manufacturing event? Yeah, what we're doing, looking at new technology as well, at like what Akuma are offering, uh, and also to see the latest machines, so maybe there might be something for us in the future. And do you actually use Akuma or Makino machines at the moment? Yeah, we've got Akumas, we've got uh, five Akumas at the moment, three horizontals, one multitasker, and also a standard lathe. So in, in other words, you're investing for the future, so it could be another Akuma? Oh yeah, we had to doubt, yeah. Uh, either that or hopefully we might even go down the Makino route as well. Shane, thanks very much for your time. No problem. Mika, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me, but could you tell me why you're here at the NTMT gear manufacturing seminar? Yeah, uh, we, uh, as a with Coromant, uh, we want to support, of course, NTMT to, uh, to show these uh, uh, possibilities to change new gear ma manufacturing by using uh, uh, multi-axis machines, for example, new technologies like power skiving, you know, milling, uh, uh, and different uh, uh, processes. And do you see that gear manufacturing is a, is a process that is, is becoming more and more? Yes, absolutely. And uh, because of these nice machines nowadays, we can, uh, we heard uh, uh, nice synchronizations today uh, that makes possible uh, power skiving and really nice qualities we have seen, like a quality six gears in this demonstration. Normally uh, to reach uh, quality six needs something grinding, for example. And if you can reach uh, so much better quality in uh, soft machining that uh, uh, shorten uh, grinding times a lot. Gears, it's not just about aerospace maker, is it? Yeah, aerospace is one area we, we can really go for, uh, especially for power skiving and, and, uh, and um, uh, hoping uh, as well uh, supply milling, whatever. So the portfolio of the Kuma machines, how many are relevant to gear cutting? Well, uh, technically all machines could be used for gear cutting in terms of accuracy and rigidity, but really you need five axis. We're demonstrating invo milling, gear skiving and hobbing, which need five axis. So all of the machines within the five axis bracket, depending on size of component, access, etc., are potentially usable. But we're featuring today the Multus range and the MU range, uh, which lend themselves perfectly for that type of part. And we have a full range of sizes from very small gears to very large gears. Seems like a success so far. In other words, all these seats are going to be captured today and also tomorrow. So will you be putting other events on, Lawrence? We, we will. We've targeted doing specific seminars at the moment as opposed to large open houses. So the idea is to target specific people, demonstrate a specific process, and the idea is to get a seminar like this, not the showroom full. We've got we targeted 40 people a day. We've actually exceeded that, so all the seats are full. Uh, should be a great event. Lawrence, thanks very much. Thank you.